Grubb with Mad River Canoe, and I'm here with the uh, the original Mad River Canoe design, the Malasite, uh, which is uh, was Jim Henry's original design when he founded the company, and it's uh, got a long, a lot of longevity because it's one of those canoes that just has the right feel. I can tell you from when I talk to the public and all, it's amazing how many people come up and talk to me about their 1976 Malasite or the 1983 Malasite or the 1996 Malasite. Um, it's just a boat that really engenders a lot of loyalty and reverence. Um, Malsite is about 16 foot 4 inches long. We make it in two constructions, a Kevlar Expedition style layup, and then this one here we have here is our, our new ultralight layup, which has a foam core to it. Um, nice thing about this one, it only weighs a hair over about 40 pounds. So it's a boat that makes me for elderly paddlers, for ladies, for smaller paddlers, or for anybody that's really feeling somewhat uh, ambitious and wants to get a boat way back into the boonies up at the small lakes and that kind of stuff. Both the Kevlar Malasites, the Expedition or the Ultralight that we have here are available in choice of aluminum gunnels or in our classic northern white ash gunnels. Uh, this boat here is the lightest boat made by Mad River at this time, as I say, it comes in just a trifle over 40 pounds, and it relies on the aluminum gunnels for that for that weight. At the bow, you have a roto-molded um, polyethylene deck plate, which is very durable. If you bang it on the ground, you're not going to hurt anything. You have your aluminum gunnels, and then we have dark stained wood carry handle. Uh, we have a contoured dark stained wood uh, cane seat. The cane is very light. It's very dry, it dries very quickly, and air travels through it, and it's actually quite durable as long as you keep, keep children's elbows away from it and dogs' paws. Uh, at the center, we use a contoured yoke, which is specifically designed to move the weight of the boat from your neck muscles to your shoulder, and then we have what we call the, contour, uh, the bucket, the cane bucket seat here at the back end with relieved edges under your thighs so that when you're all day on the water, you're not getting a lot of pressure from the wood bar across underneath your thigh. The Malasite has a, um, a shallow V hull, which is sort of a tradition of Mad River. And actually, that tradition started with this hull design, being this was the first boat that Jim designed. Uh, the shallow V provides high final stability, so that if you're out on the water and you lean over, or a wave puts you down a little bit, it hits the stability shoulder and wants to bring you back up. It's a very, very seaworthy um, hull shape as compared to some of the others in the market. Um, the Malasite is probably a little bit steeper V than, say, the Explorer, which is very similar in design. Uh, the Malasite is narrow. It's only about 33 inches wide. It makes it very suitable for crossover use between tandem or solo use. Um, it's very fine in the end, so it moves, breaks the water without resistance. And it's a very efficient design, travels well, and uh, yet can be turned when you feel confident in the boat. And you can lean into the turn and, and lay the V hull down flat. The boat will spin quite quickly. The Malasite has made it two Kevlar constructions, what we call Kevlar Expedition, which has a higher percentage of Kevlar cloth and other cloths in it, and in the ultralight. And the primary difference is, is the weight. Basically, with the ultralight, you're down in the very low 40s. Um, you've got a boat that's very easy to handle on and off your car, to and from the water, as well as on the water. Um, the other Malasite is you know, about 20% heavier. It comes in around 50 to 52 pounds. It is the more durable of the two, though, so that's why we refer to the one construction as an expedition construction, and this is an ultralight. This one, you do have to take a little more care of, um, and so forth, but it is still quite durable as far as just wear and tear. But if you got into a situation you weren't planning to get into, such as up against a rock or something like that, the expedition-style Kevlar is going to be more likely to uh, survive without major damage than, this, than, the, than the ultralight.